Hello everybody and welcome to a fine snowy day in Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. Letter from Rasher. Finally got up the result to put this place behind me. You got your goodbyes and your how how do you do's. Well, that's life. Hope you don't forget about, forget about me too quick. Nah, I don't think I'll ever completely forget about any of our villagers that move out. Why is there a rose here? <laughs> it's not how that's supposed to work. Oh well. But yes, our store has been upgraded. Also, I currently feel like a wet rat, so if I'm a little bleh, bleh, more than normal, then that's why. I just got out of the shower. I don't like showering. I don't like getting wet. I think that's more it. Like, it's not that I don't like showering, it's I don't like being wet. I don't, I don't deal with water well. I am not a moist boy. That is a sentence I probably should have never said, but you know what? I've said it now, so it's... it's forever. <laughs> well, I say that. There is content I have put on the internet that actually is not forever, because it's gone. No one made copies of it, because no one watched it. And I eventually ended up just deleting it, because I, it was kinda cringe. Namely, an old vlog series I used to do. Which, I mean, I say it was kind of cringe. More, it was depressing. Because, like... I've talked about this on my streams. I don't think I've ever talked about it here, though. Um, that old vlog series I did basically as a, you know, hey, I've got the free time, I may as well. Which... It was, it was alright at first. Like, it definitely wasn't the worst thing, and, you know, a couple of my online friends watched it, and gave them a way of keeping up with whatever I was doing, it was, it was nice. And then I fell into a pretty long depressive spell, where I was still forcing myself to, oops, lost item. I was still forcing myself to record and upload, but I was not in a good way. So, yeah, those vlogs are gone forever now, and will never come back. They were not good. You don't want to see them. Uh, they A lot of it was literally 360p, because the camera I was using was an ancient, like, 2005 video camera. 360 was just the highest resolution it could do. I eventually was like, man, I should up my production value, and I borrowed my sister's, like, proper photography camera. But then I was too self-conscious to, like, go anywhere, so... The content got worse, because it was just me sitting in my room. It was, uh, it was not a good time. Because that's just kind of how, uh... It's just kind of how me and content generation has gone, really. Like, I'll get really motivated for something, and then I'll push through a depressive spell, and then I'll hate it. Because I know I was depressed during whatever I was doing. That has never happened with Animal Crossing, thankfully. I think that's mostly just because, like... And I know this probably sounds stupid, but maybe some of you that watch this routinely could agree with this. Animal Crossing has almost like an antidepressive effect to it. Like, I'm not saying it's a stand-in for antidepressants. But, like... I'm a sugar... no spoonfuls. But, like, it definitely helps brighten your mood a bit. Even when you're having a bad day. Like, it's not a replacement, it's not good, but... Perfect temperature to draw the taste is 175.29 degrees. I hope that's Fahrenheit, because if that's Celsius... <laughs> that would be completely, like... That would be insanely boiling. I mean, that's still... Really hot. 
even in Fahrenheit. I don't know what that exactly translates to in Celsius, but a lot. Uh, I like my taste buds to survive drinking a cup of coffee. Um, I just noticed that the roses filled in the gap. I also really need to get back to replying to comments. I love you guys' comments. Um, I just haven't replied to comments for a couple days, and I really need to. So I think once I finish recording this, I'm going to be replying to comments. So you guys will already have my replies by the time you see this. I'm also going to start, because uh, this will be the path. This will just be where I'll get into the habit of putting the holes. I am really good at this. Don't you just love how good at this I am? We do have to check out our homes, our new home center on Main Street. Which is also the thing that makes these rocks kind of convenient. Though they do make Gabby's house a little inconvenient. Because, <laughs> like, I wanted two wide paths. But, like, that ain't gonna work with Gabby's house. Because there's no way I can bring the path in too wide without it just being completely open right here and then it doesn't look like a path. Like... The rocks are a bit inconvenient. And I am fully expecting a villager to crush some of our flowers. Like, I'm fully expecting that. That's one of the things I kind of love about these older Animal Crossings. Hey, Brofina. Ooh, she wants something. I just watered her feet. Part of the same old shopping routine. How about we spice things up with a trade? Would you like to trade your ruby for my cherry? Sure. <laughs> it's a really bad deal for me, but... Whatever. <laughs> take the ruby. I'll take the cherry. Thought you would have eaten it by now, but, you know. Who, who am I to assume things? Whoops. Right, I have this lost item. Did you drop something? I mean, it's... I don't know who it's likely to be, but logic would say it would be Gabby's. Oh, it's her makeup bag, so delayed to get it back. Favorite nail polish is in there. Until I'll find green tea banana bread again. So bringing it to me. That sounds weird. Oh man, another toad tea. I mean, I'm also glad I found it. Frisk, could you not? She just walked by, tail whipping my leg as she went. She wants the chair. Because she's a freaking jerk. She's a cat, though. That's just how they are. They're all jerks. Universally, they are just jerks. And of course, when I'm calling a cat a jerk, I mess up the money rock. There we go. Only 8,000 today, but that's fine. I mean, it's more than fine given we made like 80,000 last night. <laughs> that is the big benefit to the island, is going at night and catching bugs. The fish aren't bad at night either, if you can get like sharks, which are more common at night if I remember correctly. So like... Carlos! Hola, like in the snow today? I am. Something up, queen? Let's talk. To be honest, I'm bored of the drill roid in my room. Totally all style and dull. Looking for replacement furniture. I can go look through my gyroids. Yeah, I can go look through my my gyroids. Find one that I think will suit you. I got a bunch. I'm trying to think of what would actually fit for Kurlos. I don't know the gyroids by name is the problem. So, like, I'll have to dig them out and set them down and listen to what they sound like. <laughs> okay, one more fossil around here somewhere. Well, we're gonna be down by our house anyway. We may as well stop in and look for gyroids. There's a mailman out and about. 
doing a terrific surface service to the community. Yeah, terrific surface. He's terrific at surfacing the community. How else do you think the city stays so relatively flat? I mean, it's rounded, but it is pretty flat. That's the mailman. He's just coming through and surfacing everything. So, man, my beard is really... I know you guys can't hear it, but it's, it's kind of bugging me. It's bumping the mic. <laughs> Which I know probably sounds weird, but yeah, that is... That is something that can happen. Um, though that is something I, I need to actually make mention of. Oh, no, Warbloid. Warbloid. He's getting a Warbloid. Um, I kind of wish all hair was like beard hair. And b before you're like, what are you even, let me explain. Especially for those of you who are incapable of growing beards. Be them just guys who can't grow them, or, or the, the the girls in my audience. Literally, you know, I just mentioned, I just showered. I washed my beard too, because why wouldn't I? My beard is in the exact same position it was in before I showered. Like, no changes at all. It's still wet, but like, it's not... It's still exactly where it was. No combing, brushing required. It's just right where it was, right how it always is, right how I like it. Gives me a real Zhang Fei look. Look up Dynasty Warriors Zhang Fei, and that's basically what my beard looks like. Um, real scruffy, kind of sets flat against my upper torso. It's kind of nice. Um, but it's just like that all the time. No matter how wet it gets, it will always hold this position. Well, I just can't say no matter how wet it gets. When it, you know, directly under the water, it obviously moves because the water moves it. But, Jeremiah! Hey, Dr. S. Snow just keeps coming down today, Squeak. So sweet. So what's up? It's the latest. I think it's important to know your neighbors. So I recently made my goal to visit everyone in town. It is your turn, Dr. S. So what do you say? Can I come over to your house later? Depends on what later you want. I am not. I'm just not. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeremiah. No, I want you to come over. Just, I'd rather right now... There's a reason I'm doing things in basically one take again today. <laughs> And that is that robotic slash sapphire slash sky slash... She has so many names. Ah, uh, woke up before me, so. Though she is currently resting in bed, I, you know, I still want to be around if she shows up to want to chat. I mean, come on. Why wouldn't I? But yeah, um, I wish all hair was like my beard. Because like, as from what I've described of my beard, I'm sure there's a lot of girls being like, Oh my god, that would be so nice. Because like, you wouldn't have to stop and brush and comb your hair after showering. You'd just shower and be done. And it's it would be so nice. And that's how I wish it was with my hair. I probably have longer hair than a lot of the girls that watch this. Like, I know the pain of long hair. Long, thick, heavy hair. Zio <laughs> Chu! Sorry, I just wanted to tell you to bundle up to avoid catching a cold, Queen. What's going on? I brought you a thing! I brought you a tall warbloid! Gyroid for gyroid! Oh wow, I can't believe it! It's a tall warbloid! I'm gonna make it. I'm going to make my dance routine so much simpler to choreograph. Make sure to set this up in my room when I make my way home, Queen. Wait, I need to show my thanks for this, right? I mean, you don't. Just saying thanks is enough. A soda case! Oh so, man. Hard to believe he's gone. Pour one out for you, old buddy. Oh yeah, how much inventory space do I have? Yeah, I've got enough space for two flowers. That's really all we have left now, is just buying the two flowers, so... Now we have T.I.Y!
Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the grand opening of TIY. Come on in. I will come on in. We can now buy KK songs! <laughs> Greetings, what coincidence running into you today? Today, a room? Wanna talk to me? Wanna chat? Even, now, even if I don't need to come here, I still wind up here anyway. That is fair. Let's get our daily fortune. I am interested. Let's see what our daily fortune is. Our first one in a few days. There's a fortune inside. A green hat may just... It's Link. Frickin' Link. I already have Link's hat. I think I actually sold it, but yeah. <laughs> I got a lucky ticket. Now, I don't know the hours of TIY. I hope they're better. But I'm pretty sure it's the same. If I could be wrong. But yeah, they now have the two floor items. With two other floor items, and still the one wall item. As well as having a KK song every day. Steep hill, a fine item. Price is 3200, I'll take it. I like the music in here. And now we head over here! To the garden center! Welcome. Ah, hey, uh, if it wasn't, if it isn't Steven, aren't you perhaps a little surprised to see me here? Ah, isn't this place simply happy? Timmy and Tommy said they were going to make their shop bigger, so I had them include me too. Since the shop is larger and and all now, I thought I'd expand my inventory. Also, start sell, uh, start up a weed pulling service. Give this place a lot of, you could say, power ups. I hope you really like the improvement. So we now have our regular two flowers, which is a thing of my inventory might actually not have enough room. Well, I had five spaces. So we, you know, we got our flowers, they're normal. We now also have... Azalea! We have bushes now! We've seen these on the island. But we've not actually had any of these. So, Hydrangea and az Azalea. These are two different ones. Whoops. I want to buy it. Ah. I thought I had... I did have five spaces. I bought the music too. I'm... I'm a dum-dum. Uh, I'll put the shirt up there, I guess. Well... Mm, yeah. I kind of want the soda case, so now I'll, uh... Blah. Blah. Move that up there. Put these over, move that like that, so everything's organized. I will buy it. And you can also now buy just plants. Happy alloy. Nah, I'm good. So if you ever want just plants for your house, you can get those here now too. Yeah, there is a lot. There's a lot with TIY. I just, I don't remember the hours. I'm going to have to look them up. I hope they're better, but I'm not holding my breath. I'll, I'll put it that way. Because like, I don't, I don't trust. I don't, I don't trust the Nooklings to have good hours. Um... Okay, so 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. That's not bad, I suppose. Or with our early bird ordinance, they're open at 6 and they close at 11. So that's, yeah, that's not bad, I suppose. And there is still another upgrade. They're not done yet. Yeah, more than one. Yep. Yeah. I mean, we only need one more fossil, so the chance of us actually getting it is pretty low. But... Hmm. 
We may eventually get it. Now let's head off to, uh... Retail? I don't know if we can move... Bushes. I should probably... Um... Bushes can't be planted near houses, rocks, or cliff edges. Uh, can be planted directly next to other bushes. Okay. Um, bushes don't always bloom either, so I definitely want them to be, like, matching. And we can only do them 12 at a time. So, like, my idea... I may have to do it, like, a square out, is to basically bush in town hall and, like, important structures. So, like, the cafe is going to get bushes. Um, retail here is going to get bushes as close as I can get them. I think it's one square out I can start planting them. Because I just think that would look kind of nice, but they can only be four. Uh, not 14, 12, I think. I just said... I just said the number. Um... Yeah, 12 bushes, trees, stumps touchy touching each other. The 13th will not grow. So... We may actually not be able to do it at retail because of it, but we can definitely do it at town hall. I do want to... So it'll basically be... Okay. Uh... Okay, it can be planted directly next to... Other bushes, trees, and the stone paving. Okay. So, I should be able to do it one square out. So, whoops. What I'm thinking. Because that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops. 11, 12. So you guys, you guys see, see what I'm putting down here? And then we do the same on this side, though it's not symmetrical. It's gonna be further. I can't put a hole right there. So if the bush starts here... It'd be 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven. Wait, I I've mathed this wrong, haven't I? Hold on. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, well, eleven works. I could just do one further back as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That basically be what our bushes are going to end up looking like. Not in the holes, like just a solid line around. Now this will make getting into town hall a bit of a pain in the butt because like we'll have a one wide gap. Or I could move it out one square on either side and make it three wide, which I might do. Because that... I can probably make that work with even, like, the rock here. So... But if I move it all out one square, then all of this needs to move out one square, too. Which is why I'm going to... Well, that's my plan right now, and I want you guys to give me your thoughts on that. Whether I do a one-wide path, a three-wide path... I'm going to wait to plant bushes. One, until we actually have a good number of bushes to start planting. 
And two, just to see what you guys think. Because I kind of want you guys' in input on this town as well. Because, like, I'm not great at decorating. I'm just not. I'm not going to lie to myself or you guys and say I'm good at this. Because I'm, I'm not. It's just not. I almost went to Gabby's house. I need to go to retail. I do want the bushes to match. At least in pairs of two. To bring in fossils, a shirt, a hat. <laughs> Deal. I think we could pay off our uh, our home expansion. I think I'll do that tomorrow, though. We need to do our ceremony for the bridge. Um, I do want to see what did we have? Tulips and cosmos. Well, tulips are right here. Bam. We don't have any cosmos right here, though. There, so there are some clothes, I suppose. There's some... Here. I'll just plant it here for now. I'll move it later. Now, let us come and do our bridge ceremony. Bridge. Hello, Isabel. You is a bell. Homer, just remembered. Town circle like the old ceremony. Celebrate the completion of the bridge. I'd be happy to. I really should have just done it last night, but you know. To the side of the ceremony. Only three of them showed up. With the grand completion ceremony for Sapphire's Vital Suspension Bridge Project. I'm Isabelle, and I'll be your host today. Thank you, thank you. You're too kind. Keep this short and sweet, so let's jump right into it. First, incredibly short speech from our mayor. Take it away, mayor. On to the next project. That's sass. Quite away with words. Okay, moving on. Everybody please locate the item we passed out earlier and get ready. And now, to celebrate the completion of the Public Works Project and all the hard work that made this possible. Ready, set, pop! Bam. We just littered a bunch in the river. <laughs> I'm going to have to fish all that junk back up later. Hey, Jeremiah. Last night I dreamed I had to take part in an epic swimming session inside of a sauna. It's totally overheating. When you showed up and saved me by dumping a bucket of water on me. Anyway, since you saved me, I got you an exotic bed. You're my hero, Squeak. It was a dream. You didn't have to... Okay, hey. I mean, I'll take it. I mean, I do, but like, I don't need it. Jeremiah, my man, you're good. It was a dream. You're okay, my man. But yeah, we're going to uh, basically keep the 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 bushes saved for now. I'm gonna try and keep them relatively organized. I'll just keep them in separate rows for now. I'm gonna move the axe back to our dresser. Axe. I don't even know how many more trees that axe has in it. I should probably just sell it and buy a new one. Next chance we get to buy a new one. Let's come and, uh... Head steep hill. I like this one. It's got a nice it's got a nice beat to it. It's nice head bobbing music. It's still too loud. All the music's too loud. <laughs> but you know, 
I think that might just be the radio I'm using. I don't know. TV's not as loud. But that is going to mark the end of today. I know today's a bit of a shorter one, but y'all have been getting a lot of longer ones lately as well. So, d d let me have a short one today, okay? Uh, <laughs> thank you all very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you back here tomorrow for more Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. See you all then!